Hello, hello, this is Irene with Soga Talks. Hello, everyone. If you're listening to us on major podcasting platform, or maybe you're watching on LinkedIn or YouTube or even Twitter, all right, let us know what you think, because it is important. It is important to get that feedback to really understand if topics I uh, discuss with my fascinating speakers and fascinating people in tech, if those topics resonate, if your experience is somewhat uh, agreeable or disagreeable with what we're discussing, it's all about engagement. We do want to know uh, how, again, how complex technology field is it for you, what part you see yourself in this world, and hopefully with my esteemed guest, we're going to help to answer some of the questions you might have for us. So absolutely, please come. And please like, you know how that works. Uh, and today it's my privilege. It's my privilege to have Jigasa Grover with me as my guest. Jigasa, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Jigasa, it's my pleasure because guess what? I can call personally. AI is the technology of 2022. To me, the amount of exposure, the amount of fascinating ad adoption examples and technology breakthroughs we're going to get there very quickly. But to me, 2022 is all about AI. No matter if we're talking about uh, immersive technologies, VR, automation, industry progress, you know, there is no simple conversation about technology without AI. So you're just the right person to discuss those trends. Jigasa, what are the most exciting trends for you that you'd like to point out? Absolutely. Um, one thing that I've been iterating for quite some time is the fact that regardless of our fascination for it, regardless of our load for it, AI is influencing each and every aspect of our life. Um, as I mentioned, 2022 was an incredible year for so many cool innovations and applications in this field. We had Copilot, ArtStation, ChatGPT, DALI, and next year it only goes like upwards and onwards from here. So based on the trends this year that we saw, I would be watching out for, you know, uh, these five things next year. Uh, to begin with, we can do the generative AI, you know, creativity is one of the most unique human skill sets. And we are reaching that stage where AI can make that pretty accurately. Uh, you know, taking existing text, images, videos, and sounds to create something entirely new images of people like non-existent on this planet so accurate that it's so fascinating that even humans cannot tell them apart right so we have seen some phenomenal examples this year with chat gpt and dolly where you know sat exams were passed video clips with actors were seamlessly swapped um, and the metaphysics act we saw in america's got talent so next year i only anticipate more quantity and more quality of such synthetic media being produced and that also kind of like brings us to the next big trend for 2023 with, you know, this amplification of synthetic data that we are seeing is data regulations. So um, along with the amplification of synthetic data and the focus on more data centric approaches to AI, the risk um, associated with its consumption has also increased many folds. So like, you know, so much private data is at stake right now, when, especially when you're training these large machine learning models to fuel generative AI and many more such applications. So even a slight crack in these systems can create havoc um, in the socioeconomic world. Therefore, it's very imperative to preserve the privacy of the data being generated and being used. So government regulations like European Union's GDPR, the AI Bill of Rights, along with more mindful user settings like those being introduced by bigger companies like Apple are just stepping stones in achieving privacy preserving AI and building more trust between users and service providers. Um, when we talk about trust, uh, the next big trend uh, I'd say would be explainable AI because, you know, for more risk prone fields like healthcare, defense, legal, where even a single mistake in this prediction can cause irreversible damages like someone's death, it is very crucial to deploy a model whose outputs are like well explainable. And not only this prevents like expensive mistakes, but also it removes the inherent bias an AI system might be learning. Uh, therefore, um, intercepting like inequitable decisions. So um, as you mentioned previously as well, while you were chatting offline was not only for this upcoming year, but this trend should be here to stay for, you know, more research and development of fair systems. And uh, with fair systems and, you know, like, uh, as we said, AI is kind of like, uh, 
penetrating in every field. Uh, Metaverse, you know, companies like Meta, Snap, Roblox, TikTok, NVIDIA, Sony, and so many others, they're already vouching for this alternate world, which is facilitated by virtual augmented reality. And we are all here to see this become an actual reality. Uh, the promise uh, to transcend that physical layer and provide a feeling of physical presence uh, in a virtual world is like so impressive. And I totally see that the next year is, you know, people are going to open up to this psychologically quirky concept of a parallel universe and acknowledge the boundless freedom of creation and experimentation that metaverse, you know, promises to kind of like provide. And ultimately, uh, as AI is penetrating into each and every aspect, the low code, no code AI solutions are another big trend because every organization is seeking ways of integrating it in their products and services with speed and ease. Um, so many solutions like, you know, create ML, auto ML, data robot, and so many other, they are boosting productivity and helping the adoption of AI in diverse applications. So um, in 2023, I anticipate a lot more sophistication to come up uh, where one does not need to be like super technical or know the exact wiring behind an algorithm before building their MVP. So um, those would be my top five trends, top five things that I would be looking out for in 2023.